Hey guys, I'm Bobby Childs from Adventures in Whiskey. Thanks so much for joining me. So I usually get asked, what's the difference between Johnny Walker Red and Johnny Walker Black? Most of the people asking me are just getting into whiskey or they're just getting into Scotch whiskey and they think Johnny Walker is a really good sort of entry point into Scotch and they're right. So for you, I thought I would sort of run through both of these expressions. Now, Johnny Walker Red and Black are both blended whiskeys. What does that mean? Uh, that means uh, it's a blend of grain whiskeys that are made in big column stills, uh, sort of like bourbon is made, those big column stills, same thing here. Um, and malt whiskeys, uh, which are made in uh, pot stills uh, using malted barley. Um, so the big difference between the two, Johnny Walker Red is the first entry in the Johnny Walker core lineup. Um, it's aged three years old, how do I know that? fine print. Um, three years is the minimum a whiskey and the dog just walked in. Three years is the minimum and now he's walking out because he doesn't like scotch. So three years is the minimum a whiskey needs to be aged in order to be considered scotch whiskey. That's one of the rules. Um, one of the biggest selling whiskeys in the world, Johnny Walker Red. Then we have Johnny Walker Black, which is 12 years old. Uh, both of 40% ABV. This is sort of the next step up uh, from Johnny Walker Red. Um, my wife's favorite whiskey, by the way. Um, so that's sort of the physical rundown of the, of the two. Uh, Price-wise, I think uh, Johnny Walker Red is about 20-ish, $25. Johnny Walker Black can go up to about 35 bucks. Um, let's give it a taste and sort of discuss which one I would choose uh, for what occasion. Start with Johnny Walker Red. It smells very young. It's very grain forward. A little bit of vanilla. Just a touch of uh, toffee. But overall it comes across as a bit um, rambunctious. It's got some rough edges. Now the Johnny Walker Black, on the other hand, it's definitely a bit more put together. There's a there's the deeper caramels, the toffees. There's the uh, uh, a slightly uh, fruity element to it. But the one thing it has going for it is, compared to the red, it's got just a hint of smoke uh, on the back. Just a little bit. Don't think it's gonna be, you know, this big smoky whiskey, oh my God, the world's ending. I can't try smoky whiskey. It's not that bad. Just a little bit. It's really good. Um, a lot of the rough edges that I found in the red were sort of smoothed out in a black. Let's give it a taste. A lot of the same characters I find in the nose sort of carry on to the palate. Um, still very young. Uh, it's sweet, um, but sort of artificially sweet. Um, but it's got a little bit of the, the toffee. Uh, it's got a little bit of just a general sweetness. Uh, and there's a, sort of a slightly grainy quality about it. No smoke, if you're worried about that. The finish is very short, it just sort of ends. As soon as you swallow it, it just sort of ends. It's a little sweet, but it just ends. Black Label. Much better. It's a little bit darker, just like the nose, um, than the red. Um, 
there's a lot more of that toffee, uh, a little bit of that fruity character, kind of dark fruits. Um, there's a slight earthiness about this that I don't find in the red. Um, it could be the maturation, could be whatever whiskeys they use to make it. By the way, Johnny Walker Black is not just an older version of Johnny Walker Red. They're different blends, different whiskeys in them. They may share some similar whiskeys in their specific blends, um, but they're not necessarily just older versions of the previous one, if that makes any sense. very um it's very balanced it's a bit complex um extremely well blended um to the point where nothing stands out um it could be a good thing it could be a bad thing if you spend some time with it maybe a couple drops of water um it does open up a bit and you can start to pick out different different areas i, I like to say when i when i bring these out to taste things that they that this is sort of like Scotland in a class because it has sort of all uh, characters of Scotland. It's got some some of the Highland, some of the more maltier characters. It's got some space side. It's got some island whiskeys like Talisker. It's got some Isla whiskey uh, that gives it a little bit of that smoky or peaty quality. Now remember, just a little bit of peaty quality, not a lot. The finish on the black is a bit more complex. Uh, a little bit longer, but it's still not a long finish. I wouldn't even call it a medium finish. It's still sort of a short finish. Um, but uh, where do I stand? Johnny Walker Red is great for cocktails and mixing. I never drink Johnny Walker Red by itself. Um, unless I end up at a wedding and that's the only scotch that's available and that's the best whiskey that's available, then I'll pour some. Uh, I would rather spend the extra money for a bottle of Johnny Walker Black. Um, it's great to mix it, uh, it's great to taste by itself. Uh, I usually take it neat. Um, you can add ice, you can add water, whatever you, whatever way you like to drink whiskey, that's your business. I'm not gonna tell you how to do that as long as you enjoy it, that's what's important. And with that, if you've had Johnny Walker, red or black, and agree with me, let me know. If you disagree with me, let me know, comment below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Until next time, cheers.